that's how I'm going. Like other than just like the free winning stuff, I don't like uh, that was like the only only real issue. Twitch, what's up? Twitch chat, what's up? YouTube viewership, what's up? I'm here today. It's a special day. This Sunday was the Philadelphia Eagles Club Series champion, the defending Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles had a Club Series event, and my man Figgy won it for the second time in a row. So congratulations on that. Talk about the experience on Sunday. I want to know, uh, was it, it had to be a lot better this time actually having a little bit of a live event rather than being in the back room down there in uh, yeah, Orlando. So yeah. talk about what the event was like. Yeah, it was easily better. Comparing it to Orlando, I mean, Orlando, obviously, we were just back in a little room. Uh, everyone was just playing together. So, mm -hmm. But this was this was nice. It was real secure. Had a nice a nice little audience from everyone that was supporting all the families that were there supporting all the fans. There mm -hmm. was uh, had a couple cheerleaders that had um, – Trey Thomas, the mm -hmm. old Eagles player there. So it was nice. It was nice to have the high, nice little setup in the other room, how, how everything was set up. It was nice, good atmosphere. Definitely. Okay. So you went into this, you probably had, I mean, what we had, a couple weeks from when you uh, qualified for the online part mm -hmm. to the live event. Talk about the process of what you went through. Like, okay, I know my three players I got to play against. How many of those three players did you play online in the, the online part of the, the situation? I played, the only person I played on the online was Slim. I yeah. played him. He was in my um, he was in my original round robin. Okay. I went two and one in that, and I beat him. But I knew I I, I knew I wanted to. Um, usually I wouldn't have like three goon receivers like I did. So mm -hmm. I had I had uh, Diggs, OBJ, and Moss. Usually I would have OBJ, Moss, and Dorsett. Yeah. But I knew just in case I had to play Slim again. I know he likes to do the cross man. man. Everybody yeah, up exactly. And he got yeah, yep. And then he mm -hmm. got. I know he has. He had that goon Dion. So. That was that was a big part of it, and then I knew um, I had gotten a chance to watch Noonan play online, yeah. and I knew he was going to run the wham, and I still made a bonehead move and didn't really lab. So for you it, didn't have any wham defense? Not at all. But thankfully, I was able to adjust a little bit on the fly for yeah, that you one. Just a little bit on the fly. So the wham was definitely a uh, definitely a big deal for Noonan, and, and and we'll talk about that game. I want to know. Who who did you play with the most in the last three weeks, getting you prepared for for this event? I usually just play like my boys in in TIA. You know, like uh, my boy Escobar, my boy Wizzy, AKG yeah. was playing him a lot, and then of course always play um, uh, Blocky, Prodigy, Manu, and then I play Blocky the most out of all of them. Play, okay. Pretty much play Blocky more than anyone. Okay. So there you go. So you play Blocky a lot. Obviously, Blocky's probably going to compete for the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. So if you actually do play Blocky again, it would be very good for both of you guys. So it really wouldn't be a big deal. That's a lot of how uh, me and Skimbo feel about the same type of thing. Like, if you're going to be all the way on the AFC, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be on the NFC, we can play as much as possible. Because yep. even if we play again, we're both going to have Buku Bucks yep. and already exactly be, be sitting pretty. So I'd say this for um, actually me, Manu, Prodigy, and Blocky. We're all... I think we're Far all apart. separate apart so that we could actually be the final four of okay. the club championships. So that'd be kind of wild. There you go. Now, you yourself, man, we don't hear from Figgy at all. Like, we get no streams. We get no content. We get no yeah, – Like, man. you are, like, the, the hiding, mysterious man. Yeah. Like, so much so that I was surprised that you cut the hair off. You don't even <laughs> have the hair anymore because I have, we haven't seen you since since the last Eagles Club Championship. Yeah, so, yeah. so what's the thought process in being the high and creep guy? Nobody knows who Figgy is until you pop up. Back in Madden 17, uh, shout out to everyone that used to be in my streams. I used to stream all the time. I used to wake up mad early, play carry eight times in a row on, on stream. Yeah. And uh, throughout that time, I slowly realized I was watching one dude that I really admired that year, the best player that year, Skimbo. He never mm -hmm. streamed and never did none of that. And I always had the mindset of, you know, the better player is going to win. And I still kind of have that mindset, the better player is going to win. But if you match up versus someone, like, who's really good and really knows how to prepare for someone and knows how to, like, watch someone's gameplay over and over again and learn their tendencies and when they want to run something and, so, and anything like that, that's really, that's really where it can separate it. So as much as I do love, you know, the community and how, like, I love streaming, I love everyone starts streaming. Like, I think I'm going to start to stream – um, my DC grind, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure yet, mm -hmm. but I love the stream and everything, but it just doesn't, and you know this, it just doesn't, it puts you at a, just a slight competitive disadvantage when you go up against like that other top player. So oh yeah, for sure. That's kind of why definitely. I just followed the way, you know, joke, joke and all those guys be saying the EMB, no stream team. So, but we'll see. So maybe maybe I'll switch it back not for up. the culture. They're not for the community, yeah, man. Yeah. Everybody's selfish nowadays. They just want to make sure they win. And it's very smart. I'll tell you, man, yeah, if you're is. not willing if you don't want to super grind the content, then you should never – I want to stream a thing. You yeah, know? exactly. If your future isn't in content, I want to stream anything, you know, because yep. it's not it's not like we're making buku bucks 
we're just uh, trying to get to that point. And, you know, if, if you want to keep just continue to keep winning, I mean, that's definitely should be your goal is to hide everything you want to do. And you did a good job because a lot of what you did is some stuff that I haven't seen before. And I've known the last two years you have always been a miniature skimbo and that was always something mm-hmm. to predict that you were going to play like skimbo. But this yeah. year I felt like you played completely different. It was more, you know, more reads rather than just trying to get the big play yeah. and trying to, you know play like Skimbo where he's going to where I'm just running two, two, three plays, so mm-hmm. on and so forth. You really mixed up your plays very yeah. well. And, uh, I mean, that's... That's all in part to in part to block. I'm telling you, when y'all, when y'all watch me play, especially on offense, just know that it's just me just taking blocky scheme and just running it to the best of my yeah. ability. Okay, so Blocky has the bunch this year. Oh, huh? yeah, block, Blocky's, Blocky's a nerd, bro. He's he's really good at me. I mean, I know he knew he was a nerd, but yeah, he, he's always, a, he has a bunch a of shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, now, so... What I really want to talk about first is, is my man Slim. Now, Slim has gone to all the little hood events that we have here in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Like, every little event he's been at. He beat me at the one event, like, Man 17, the end of Man 17. <laughs> and I was like, man, Slim really got an idea. Like, I can see him playing. I see him, you know, doing all the meta stuff, really having an idea of how to play, you know. Yeah. But he's just always missing that one little it factor. And, and I really thought he could pop up at this tournament. I really thought it was his chance and was happy to see somebody – that's always at these little neighborhood events to be on an EA stage, to be mm. at a live event, something like that. So I was really anxious to see what he had, you know, to bring to the table. You know, obviously I played him, you know, a couple couple of weeks ago, and we had just talked about it before the podcast about he's going to blitz everybody, man, everybody up, and run the trips tight end. Mm-hmm. The one thing about Slim was that his trip side, he was never as patient as everybody else. He always yeah. wanted to get a big play. Mm-hmm. But if you're not patient with offense, I mean, it becomes easier to defend. When you want to just look for the 15, 20-yard play, that becomes easier to defend than somebody that's always taking the five mm-hmm. yards that are there. I definitely saw him do that a couple times, too, like trying to go for, like, that big cross or oh, something yeah. instead of taking his underneath yep. and then put him in, like, a second and long or something like that. For sure. But the first thing, I'm going to bring this game up, that I noticed from Slim that really was just a head scratcher. I mean – I have been the biggest Cam Newton supporter in the history of the world. Like, I love the quarterback Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. I love because he's fast, physical, and, you know, he doesn't fumble. He doesn't – he falls forward. He's mobile. He's got a super arm. I already know what, better, arm. what player better bring up. <laughs> yeah, but he just – one – once they put the animations in the game where the quarterback does oh, the dump yeah. shit in the line, and yeah. Cam Newton was the worst. Because I remember Bugs maybe the first week he was playing with the Panthers, and even Cam Newton is quarterback on uh, Mutt, and he just points to the sky, <laughs> and he takes longer than any other quarterback in the world. Yeah. So for me, if you're slim and you look at this and you go ahead and look, okay, this is the quarterback I'm going to bring to the party, and he brings Cam Newton who's pointing at the sky, who's just delaying him making plays, and just there was just <laughs> things in, that really held him back with that Cam Newton. Yeah. And I, w- I want to go to this game, just some dumb decisions that he made not necessarily the Cam Newton shit came to play at the end of the game, and we're going to look at that and just the things that he did. But, I mean, just this game, what well, we're going to see, Newton, you said Noonan just, just weigh him to death. And he scores seven, and Slim scores seven, I believe, or oh, seven to three. He actually kicks three twice. He kicks three the first time on like a fourth and one, or oh, fourth and two, I think, I believe he gets to, fourth and, fourth and six. So he kicks, so I'm not mad at that. Then he gets a turnover and he actually kicks the ball on like a third, fourth and in inches. In inches. Yeah. yeah. After already kicking one, now I don't, I don't mind it that much because if I'm playing a, if, if you see somebody come out and wham, like just wham yeah, you yeah, to death, yeah, yeah. that person's not high powered. Exactly. That person's not going to score forty five points on you. You're going to be in the game for the entirety of the game, pretty much. Yeah. You know where if you're playing somebody that's going to score every possession, now maybe your mindset's a little bit different. But if you're playing Noonan, who's running wham to death, you know he's only going to score 14, 21 points. So all these threes going to matter. So I mean, kicking this, although <sighs> I say you got Cam Newton, you got to. I say what does you Cam Newton have anything to do with it? I mean, yeah, I guess it uh, could be sneaky. Don't really got what, what do you want to? Yeah, what are you going to call out of this? I'm at, I'm at least coming out in goal line and just getting the look. Just yeah, cause some yeah people, you could always see what some his people goal might line not even. Is. Yeah, some people might not even be be ready, and he ready might have came out in his his regular, regular defense. defense you get an easy quarterback, easy sneak. QB sneak. Absolutely. Yep. Otherwise, you can just take the delay and kick the field goal anyway. Yep, exactly. It doesn't really change much. You know, you can even go and hope he's off sides and do some dumb shit. I think Noonan got a first down like that earlier, just coming out and QB sneak on inches while he was in his regular defense. Yeah. So, so I, neither here nor there. I don't, I'm not mad at the decision. I mean, you can d- debate it, and people debate it all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing is uh, uh, he didn't pick kick perfect, so he let it go all the way to three. So there, there's that. But he he wound up really getting the ball back and getting getting enough stops. So I believe this is noon and off. Yeah, the who, the three ended up really not. He he ended up taking the lead in a nice this, way. This is what this is the sequence that just 
drove me up a wall with Slim. I believe, I don't know if it's here. I might have called time out here if I was on Slim, but maybe not. Because this is the thing, and is that Noonan is a runner. So if I'm playing defense here, I don't want you to run the ball. So if the time runs out, you won't be able to run the ball. But maybe it's after this play where I would have called my timeout to get the ball back. Because Slim does get the ball at half, and I believe he gets it. I forget what it was, but it was a time when, because I watched all these games live, and there was a time when I was like, damn, I really would have called my timeout. Yeah, right after. He that. gets a drop here. Okay, boom. So he gets him to third and seven. I don't know. I don't know if he gets to a fourth down here and doesn't call timeout. But wherever it may be, I, I'll show you where he starts to call his timeouts, and it drove me crazy. And I just was—I I wanted to just choke Slim for how stupid it was for him calling timeouts because Noonan, obviously, he's not—he's not kid on offense. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah. just a guy that's going to run the ball, may hopefully control. He gets his run here. Boom. There's no I'm calling timeout a right thousand away. percent of the time right here. Yeah, One right thousand away. percent of the time. Because yeah. it's a fourth down. If he goes for it now, you want the time on offense. One every time I'm calling timeout right here. Yeah, right now that away. wasn't bad for Noonan it. running the ball right there because maybe he wanted to get back in field goal range. Mm -hmm. You know, because like we say, he's not high power. But a, a thousand percent of the time I'm calling timeout right there. And if you're not gonna call a timeout, cool, then let's just let the half run out. Because you're obviously not interested in getting the ball back. Mm -hmm. If you're not calling timeout here, and and if you're Noonan and you're going to go for this, you're going to milk this all the way down. I believe he he yeah, he does come on because he can't get it. Now this was unfortunate. I remember this play because at because what happens is he has Deion Sanders and like you say, he mans up everybody on yeah. the field, and Deion Sanders doesn't make this tackle, which you don't pay Deion Sanders to make tackles. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. I remember I heard um someone in the stand saying like this is lucky. This is. It's one of those next level man things, in my opinion, where it's like, you know, you're gonna have Dion out there, you're gonna have him to do, to do the cross man, but he's, we might give up something just like that. And he's not gonna Kill, tackle. Not gonna now, tackle. a lot of times, if I'm playing Mutt or I'm playing whoever it is, and I get to a fourth down, fourth down is the only time you would consider going on conservative tackle, in my opinion, because maybe Dion makes that tackle. Yeah. Now, I'm not expecting somebody to go on conservative tackle. Now, this is what drove me crazy. I believe this is where Slim calls timeout. Why the? F why are you calling timeout now? All this allows is Noonan to keep giving you Leonard Fournette. Yep. Otherwise, he's going to pretty much guarantee to get a field goal because he, because the time's going to run out on him. He's going to call timeout on his own. If you're Noonan and you you're going to run wham here, you're pretty much conceding that you're going to get a, if you're not going to bust a run, you're going to get a field goal. Mm -hmm. And while Slim calling timeout, all he's allowing is Noonan to keep running wham. Yep. Instead of getting three whams, Slim is about to get 15 whams <laughs> because he keeps calling timeout for him. Yep. Th that's something that drove me crazy. Now, I think Nunes still kicked the field goal. So, ultimately, it did not, like, come back to really bite him. Yeah. But but as far as I'm concerned, I, I would have never called timeout in this situation because you're just helping a runner. And he guards for – it's just – just I don't know what he probably calls. He calls timeout again. It's just like <laughs> – now, now, you know, he has to – now he's going to run. He's going to have the ability to run wham. Had you not called timeout, both of those plays he ran would have resulted in Noonan calling a timeout. Or the clock being down to 10 seconds. Yeah, it's the little stuff. But he calls timeout, allows Noonan to go, hey, yeah, I can throw a little table route and try to truck. I can run Wham again. Or now I'm in goal line. I can even run quarterback sneak. And just like you said, he got he got a, he got a uh, easy first down because yeah. Slim came out in that. Once again, oh, let me call timeout again. Yeah. Why would you even call timeout in that situation? You're damn sure not getting the ball back now. Yeah, that was sure that was a terrible timeout. It's just it's just like dude, like he's you, just making Noonan not have to really. Uh, Noonan don't have to do shit, but keep running Wham because you're calling timeouts for him. Run Wham and run table routes and boom, you're calling timeouts for him. So neither here nor there, he's actually he runs the ball down. Now Noonan has to start using his timeouts. And he actually gets – I don't know if he gets lucky because the, the way stopping Wham is just like, please, somebody fight and tackle him. Uh, exactly. Really. Someone should. Someone fight. And it, but because he still has timeouts left, he can do this. Now he no huddles. I'm not mad at this because he can get a run and he still has two timeouts. Took a little bit more time than I thought. I don't know why he's not yeah, snapping he, the ball that Yeah, first. he had a couple if he uh – if he clock management moments. Yeah, but the thing is, you, if you're like you said, Noonan, he's a runner. Mm -hmm. He's not has super dots. Now, I mean, I have a little quick snap throw dot down here, but I think everybody should have some type of little high ball. But for me, it's, it might not be worth worth the uh, the risk of a turnover if uh, if you really don't have nothing special down mm -hmm. there. Especially if you're a runner and you want to stay in the game, and that's what Noonan want to do. That's yeah, all that he plays real conservative. Plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He, he had a really good game plan, and he pretty much executed to a T, to be honest. Yeah, it just the, the one thing when Noonan's concerned is just 
when it's time to have a couple dots, you yeah. got to have a couple better dots than, you know, vertical or the crossing route with mm -hmm. a hitch and, and three slants across the middle of the field. That's pretty much – I mean, and that's all – because I would say this about running the ball and why I pass the ball is because no matter how well you run the ball, no matter how much the game caters to Leonard Fournette and caters to the wham – you're always going to get in a situation every game you play where you, you got a third and eight, you got a third and ten, and you got to make a play. So if you're passing the whole game, you're way more comfortable in that situation than if you just ran the whole game and you didn't have that many dots. Yep. Now, I don't know what the hell Slim does. Hey, I swear he had, like, he took control of this game at some point. Yeah, he does. He, he ends up getting a stop, and then I remember he, he gets this nice, nice dot to, well, he uh, a touch to Randy Moss. Cause I don't want to spend all day on this. Cause this just that was that timeout situation he did. Oh, I forget the dumber shit he did. Was that the first half? No, I think it was here. After. Yes, it had to be right here. The dumbest defense. Oh my god, I wanted to oh, just the you're dumbest. You're talking about the man to man, the drag to uh to on what's his name. On the fifteen yep. yard line we play man to man. Yep, yep. I know exactly. What like you're like about. oh my god, let me get in this situation. You're we talked about Noonan a thousand times, man. Not high powered at all. Not high powered at all. You hold three points. And that's easy. It's the fourth quarter. You're slim, you trips tight in God. Yeah. You should be able to go down the field, milk a little bit, and get a field goal to win the game, right? You got a second 11. Right now, if I'm still, I'm like, please, this run dictates. If I stop this run, which I stop, I stop it. Man, that's it. That's a stop That's right field there. goal. Mm -hmm. Noonan has – nobody has shit for this right here. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Yeah, it's not a soul. A it, John Madden himself doesn't have a dot <laughs> for this play. You know, and, and for me, I'm – it's just – it's it's atrocious because all you got to do is play – any like ask Madden zone and rush three people, put us. You can rush two people, put a spy, and boom. I remember you're gonna force three. I remember I was watching this play. I was like this last job. I was like, all right, we're low key rooting for um for Slim because we had Newton's family behind us, so we weren't trying to like be disrespectful or anything. Oh, yeah. And then he ran this right here, and I was like, oh man. Everybody was open. He could have closed his eyes. Yeah. All you have to do is play zone. Let the cloud flat tackle that play. Cause we just talked about Newton. What the, like like. He didn't even cross, man. Why didn't it? Where, where's the cross, man? At least, why not Dion on Beckham? I'm gonna say, like, bro, where are we throwing about? This is route cam right here. This is the one that mossed mm -hmm. you. This shitty little post. Yeah, people really hang yeah. on to that. That don't work. And it's like, it. we're just this right here. These two. That's all he got. It's just two little drags and that post. All you gotta do is just play anything, and it, like really, and you could, two man under would have been better than this shit, cause what's this what is the reward in playing man and blitzing everybody? You're not going to give him the door pa bad pass or interception because there's no zone out there. There's exactly. nothing to trick him. There's no getting tricked. Yeah. And if you get sacked, it's the same amount of points you give up as if you just let him catch something and tackle him for short of the fourth down. Because there's no way he goes for fourth down when you're down three. There's just no way, yeah. especially this close. You just got to play zone and you got to make the tackle. Because right now, because he didn't man up this guy unless he cross man him, but he has to guard this. Everybody's open. He had uh, somehow he had X like double double covered. Yeah, this guy got two people on him because he manned up everybody, and I guess someone manned up on the running yeah, back. Yeah, just, manned up yeah. running back. Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, this 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 was this was where, you, in my opinion, you lose the game yeah, right that, here. That hurt. That hurt with seeing that. Lose the game, and I forget. I forget exactly. Did he go? Oh, he punted, which is cool. I'm not mad. Once again, we can go back to playing. Who? You, oh, but now we gotta talk about this shit, shitty punt. Hold on, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up, I forgot about the the punt situation here. Let me see what he did, man. Cause some of my guy, I don't like killing him that much. And that just got blown up. See, he overthought. That was, yeah, that was, he lost like four yards in that first play. I think. He, Cause he watched the podcast. He watched Jay Wall versus Skimbo, and, his, and Jay Wall his Skimbo with some bluff, uh, bluff motion. But that only worked because of Skimbo's defense. It, it, I mean, if you're if you're stopping a run like this, you know this guy's gonna shoot in here. Yeah, exactly. So you gotta use your motion to block him. Yeah, when I saw Nuno was doing that, you saw I didn't even waste my time run, running. Yeah. Inside zone. No, like I try that. to do that. That's how you don't work every damn time, but it worked yeah. that time. And this is where we talk about if Slim not going to take his underneath stuff, or we talk about that being his weakness, he damn sure not going to take it when it's second and 14. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what he runs. I'm assuming he's going to run his play with the motion. Everybody Cam, like, oh, Cam Newton, point, point into the heavens. That's that's what he does. Point to the heavens. Cam Newton's going to be my quarterback for here. You know, oh, he actually gets screamed at and throws a short, throws something short. And I don't know if that was the little zig or the little in route. 
So I'm assuming he's going to run the look. Cam Newton point again. He's going to run the motion over. With, he's going to have this guy on the Crosser, crossing route. In route. This guy on that deep ass in route that takes seven hours blocking everybody else. Can you get the time? Oh, he, uh, he, he, the he ran nothing. He ran the, uh, he ran a corner route to the one side because he did hit that corner route early in the game. Yeah, he didn't yeah, cover yeah. it, so but he covered it that time. Now it's smart the punt here. I'm not mad at it. Fourth and fourteen, maybe fourth and ten. I'll go for it, but maybe you have to go for it. That's, I, either way, you can make argument either way, really. Because the one thing about punting right here, you give Noonan a chance to run out the rest of the clock. Yeah. I'd Whereas go for if it. you go for it, you damn sure gonna get the ball back. Mm -hmm. No, because unless unless Try he has a perfect drive, yeah. If he has a perfect drive, he can run the whole clock out. But more often than not, you're gonna get the ball back. So to punt right here, it's cool. Well, just, I would probably go for it, just given the way how he was struggling versus Wham. Yeah, for sure. I'm not trying to get like but pounded you like that. Damn sure. Don't punt this shit for two yards. Yeah, this was this was. Now this is I don't know. Why do we go to the wide side of the field yeah, with nah, the punt? Because one, you have to go an extra eight yards or ten yards, whatever the width of the, the hashes are, and you have to go out of bounds. One, you have a shitty punter. We all have shitty punters. Yeah. <laughs> so the yeah. pick's not going that far. You might as well pick the short side. You know, and he picks the wide side, and I think he gains ten yards on this punt from the thirty-six yard line. <laughs> he goes to. The 49. 49. So he gained 15 yards on the punt. 15 <laughs> yards. Uh, now, I believe he goes ahead and he holds him. I think Noonan actually punts, too. Or maybe that was versus you. Yeah, he punted versus you. 32. Fourth and two. I think, I think he holds him to three. And then we deal with Cam Newton. Because you have Cam Newton yeah. as your quarterback. And another thing that just – it was another thing that he did that just – Ooh, I mean, the, the little shit that people do, just fourth and two. This, this was the money play right here for, for Noon. Yeah, that was that was it. And, you know, that was, we're going to that. And, of course, Slim just wants to man up everybody but doesn't. Mm. Now, see, that wasn't fluky. No, nah, that's Calvin Johnson. I, First of all, I, I, but I he was butt side. naked. Yeah, the, the animation that he got. That yeah, was, it was, was terrible. Look, look how open he is. Like, well, he could have scored yeah. if he gets a good, you know what I mean? Well, he gets this he he wide call. Yeah. yeah. Came back and got, got to catch that. He killed the hell out of it. Whoever the hell Slim just manned up on him. Yeah, that, that deep crosser out of the deep route specialist, that thing you can't cross man that, especially not on Calvin. No, that's a, okay. So you, you'd route special that. So eventually yeah, he gets lucky. Because he could have killed them. And uh, Newton kicks his three and goes. Now, this is where Cam Newton just kills you. Cam Newton kills you. Because once you're going to get the kick off, boom. I didn't even notice it at first. I, I, I was wondering, like, why he couldn't hike the ball. <laughs> Kicked it out of bounds, boom, 40-yard line. But That was huge. And, you know, I, the time was so close for him getting a little snap, getting everything. But honestly, I'd rather kick go out of bounds and give somebody a chance to return it. Yeah, same. I believe he throws a dot the first play. Is the play not not when Trips Titan was this way? Trips Titan was the other way. I believe when he throws dot. But you have Cam Newton that points to the sky, so that's going to limit your entire ability to run any type of hurry up and do any type of hot routes or any type of audibling. You have to know that if you're going to use Cam Newton. Great pocket right here. This was the play. Got to go straight out of bounds, and I think he did. But Dion made a huge tackle. Yeah. Now here, you're not going to know how to great. Just call any play. Literally anything. You just have to get rid of the ball. And he, and I, he, he, he audible. audible see, he anyway flips too. the bunch. So just we talked about Cam Newton being that shitty. The time is your the, the biggest enemy right here. It's not Noonan. It's not any. It's just the time. That's what's killing you, right? That's a huge tackle right there by by Noonan. Could he have rack rack eggs that to to why right there? Or on a little on a on the fade. Yeah. I mean, it's possible, but. The Slow thing Dion. is, he's just looking. He was looking for the corner route for yeah, the jump. Nah, yeah, that was, that was too good. You know, but then, open. like I said, he comes out here and he audibles. Right? Th this is a point in the game where I'm running any goddamn play and just snapping a bit. Like, really, it's just if I got to throw throw the ball away, I'll throw the ball away. But the time is the biggest thing that, that's killing you right now. And he audible and he's doing hot routes. This is why I mean, like, if you audible, what play did you audible to? You obviously probably audible the verticals. I'm that's going the verticals, only thing. Yeah, yes. Even if you verticals back. just drag somebody and just throw anything because you got to get the ball out of your hands. And he motions somebody out. Like, now you had – this is your play. This is it. This is the whole game right here now. And he throws this. You had a time to do all that shit, and then you throw it. Like, 
And then he does the, the extra I mean, animation. He no huddles, which you kind of got to. And once again, we're audible and through seven audibles. Everybody getting mo- when the time is running out. We motion to Tyreek Hill go all, all the, the way, way out there, the field. dude. And that's why you don't get the ball off. And GG. Like I mean, it's just little shit. Why do you have the audible every single play? Yeah. In all, because honestly, the play too. wasn't terrible that he threw that he threw this little post on. It was definitely it wasn't the worst play he could have ran. Because it definitely got him within – this is within Randy Moss territory when you're at the 20-yard line. Definitely if you could have got – there's no way I audible. Moss is getting a fade and he's getting the ball. Right. That's all you got. The like, verticals. what the hell did you audible to anyway? Like, this has to be with verticals anyway. So, no matter what formation, I wouldn't. he would have just been on a fade anyway. Yeah, so, it's just little, like Slim shouldn't have lost this game and he just did – and that's why I talk about, like, I feel like he, he knows he knows how to play the game. He's a smart player, but he made so many little mental errors yeah. that I don't know if it was because he was, this was a big event or, or what was going on. But he could have really definitely played better and played a lot smarter than he did. Yeah. And that's definitely some things that I hated that he did and, and think he could have tightened up and really made a good run. Because, like I said, man, he goes to all the events. He supports every little event that uh, with a Jimmy who run Philly throws or big homie Rob throws the uh, honorable gaming tournaments. Any tournaments I've thrown here, he's been at every single one. So I definitely want Slim to do good. I definitely want him to uh, pop up. But uh, he definitely got tightened some things up. And Cam Newton was definitely not the best choice of quarterback. I don't know. Yeah. Who he's played with, and I feel bad because my guy, but I didn't know he'd use Cam Newton because right now in the game, I feel like if you're not using Vic, you're kind of – you're behind a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you're definitely so, tripping. Let's get into the, the Figgy versus Newton. For the, cause I'm not going to talk about my man Jay Oz. I don't know if that's how you say his name, mm-hmm. but because I didn't know Jay Oz, I don't know Jay Oz, so he's probably new and coming up. I really like to kill people that I expect better from. Yeah. And Jay Oz obviously is new to this community as far as competing on this level, and I hope that uh, he continues to do it, just improve on a couple of things, realize uh, what you did wrong, and, and take something from him. I mean, you lost to one of the best players in the world. That's going to happen. I want you to continue to keep growing and keep becoming a better man player, so I'm not going to kill the people that, you know, I, I, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing them. It's, you know, just I kill the people that I expect better from. Like, I'm going to kill Chaos. I'm going to kill Slim. I'm going to kill Cassandra. I'm going to kill the people I expect better from. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so as far as J.I., I have nothing bad to say about you, man. Just keep grinding. We're not going to talk about that game. We're going to go right into to the championship game where it looked dark for you. It was looking real dark. I was like, damn, Figgy really about to lose to Wham. Yeah. I was. That's exactly what I said to myself mid-game. He was about to lose to Wham. So, I, I mean, I, I'm not – the one thing and, – and why I said this was impressive, because we talked about your shitters in the secondary. You didn't have anybody – you know, your corners were just bobos. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and I, I've always thought that a lot of people – obviously, for past situations, it matters. But I feel like the play recognition, the speed, all that helps in the run just as much. Yeah, yeah I agree. You know, and, and and not that that's, that's why Wayne was killing you. One thing and that pissed me off about Noonan, man, if you're Noonan, right, what pissed me off is that you don't have that many dots passing. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, you got to win two games, right? You have to win two games. You're playing two passers. You're going to want to control the ball. You're going to run one run wham. That's your game plan. If you're getting into your bunch of shit and all that, you're, you're not doing well. Yeah. I would have loved for him to invest in another tight end. Yeah. Yeah, same. Even even if he would have went like the carry route with Lane Johnson or Lorenzo Neal, really to get this wham high powered. Yeah. Because when you go to bunch, if you have Kittle, like a lot of people did with Ingram last year, you can run Kittle at wide receiver. Yeah, Kittle's fast. You can put him on the outside, run him on a fade, and run off for your little vertical play. Mm-hmm. I would have wished he invested a little bit more in this wham scheme. Yeah. You know, because obviously his line was probably pretty good, but you got to have these two tight ends. If you're going to run wham, they like carry dude, put the goon out here to really blow up that, that yeah. defense attack. I was uh I was surprised he didn't have stretch too, just in case he played like versus like a, how I'm playing is like a compressed. No baseline and shit, yeah. yeah so, but. so I mean, but at the same time, that's that's where I love playbooks. That's why I hate when people say playbooks should be custom. You should be able to have everything. Mm-hmm. Part of a man player is deciding what you want to sacrifice. Yep. And Nuna said, I want to sacrifice stretch so I have the better plays when I go to bunch. And that that and where that where lies the uh, debate on what playbook you want to use. And you have to make a decision as a man player. Whereas if you had every damn play, everybody would have everything. Yeah, and exactly. there would be no compromise. There would be no uh, no 
downside to picking a certain playbook. And that's mm-hmm. one thing I I think they killed with the game is putting every single defensive formation in one playbook. Yeah. So where last year was like, are you going to run odd? Are you going to run three, three, five normal? Or are you going to run dollar? You know, you had to pick between those three. You couldn't run all three. Like, here you go, boom. Yeah. And this year they really watered it down to the point where everybody has every defense at their disposal. And I think that's something that hurt it. And I think, you know, obviously he picked having a bunch of plays instead of stretch. So he was just whamming the hell out of you. And I'm not mad. At, I would have whammed the hell. I wish I should wham some people some more. But this is the one thing that just – and this this was the best. Every time Noonan hit the hole, and Noonan, I hope I hope to God, you got to play a lot of Madden, but you have got to work on this. Like, dude, we got to – like, there was so many plays where he broke into your secondary like this. And not truck. And not do anything of substance. Yeah. Like, forget truck, juke, anything. You could let the computer run. Because, you know, when you're playing a runner, it's like, man, he's going to run the ball on me. He's going to get yards. Mm -hmm. But I can't give up an 80-yard run. I can't give up a 50-yard run. I can't give up a – and he – by him not having no – he has the worst – I don't want to say run stick because he got got through the – he got to the second level pretty good. But once he got to this level – Oh, man, it's embarrassing. Yeah. I could have gave an eight-year-old the controller and said press buttons, <laughs> and she would have made more plays than Noonan made after in this situation. Because if you're, if you're a runner you see the situation, man, you, your eyes got to be watering, man. Yeah. Now you, said, you said you had Sean Taylor was a goon, and you said what area you had, 36 cap? Uh, no, nah, I had like 40, 43 so cap, was, 89. So, both, so your safeties were pretty good. Yeah. Did you put your tackling on aggressive at all? No, no. no? I, was, I was too scared. You were afraid? Uh, yeah, I was too afraid he was going to just go. And I felt like when I was watching mode. this, you weren't clicking on it, like, instantly. Like, me, I suck. So I'm going to click on instantly and try to run up and strip you. And, and mm-hmm. so many times I get people out of the play. Oh, that was a big tackle right there. That yeah. looked dark. She, she, uh, he, He's going to come up later, too, on, on that one drive. Who's that? One of your shutters? That's one of, one of the uh, – yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he just run for a first down on you on oh, third and six? Jeez, look he at gets that offensive a, line protection. He gets a nice animation right here. Oh, yeah, he dipped on Apke. I mean, Apke sucks. He yeah. should do that as Michael Vick. Back to the Noonan. Here we go. Oh, my. Like, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, like right there. I don't like, know dude. what he's trying to juke right there. You, gotta, you have, what's that, 55 cap Leonard Fournette? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he's got the gooniest one. I you mean, I respect Sean Taylor, but I, I you got it. You got it. I'm gonna try you one time. That's my at point. Least. If you're afraid of Sean Taylor, then run the other way. Don't try some move. You gotta run me over. You gotta do yeah. something. Cause a good truck animation has seven points. Yeah. Sean Taylor did hit him a couple times too, but I'm I'm, I'm I, definitely I, I trying. I saw it. every time he got to ten yards, he made some shitty move and just was like, bro, that can't be it. Now you starting to get aggressive with the safety. I don't really get aggressive with the safeties because I'm afraid of a touchdown. Yeah. I wasn't like manning him up yet because I wasn't yeah. I wasn't trying to have him shoot in and then crazy. Just have yeah and then give up a big touchdown yeah that's what people went man when you play in the stream and people you're getting ran on people say, oh do this man up you yeah, yeah, yeah. flip this guy here we go oh shit see that's that's one of the times we okay well now him. he needs a breather now I need to take him out the game and that's another thing oh no backup you gotta at least had a little shitty. 85 yeah. speed backup running back. Yeah, a little what's his name, uh, Perry. <laughs> this is, yeah, you gotta have somebody. If you're gonna, dude, I'm gonna about to start running wham and show these kids how to really set up a team if I want to run the ball. They patched it. You can't even. You can't even do that. You uh, can't do power that motion anymore? thing anymore. Nope. Damn, wham is dead for real. Yep. <laughs> oh, thank God. Right for DC too. That was gonna be my DC <laughs> offense. Jeez. So, and then this is why he went to bunch because his running back's dead tired. Because mm-hmm. right now I'm not getting out of the run. Uh, I know. Because way. it's working. But Four or five my yards running back's so dead tired. I mean, I might even – I don't even know what he did. I, he died. He died. Oh, that's where, that, no, that's where he, he breaks – or no, that's, uh, that's where he uh, – right right in front of the uh, – in front of Sean Taylor. Yeah. I go well, for the Well, that pick. plays good, and then your shitters got carried. Which they should. It goes all the way down to the one. And he scores a touchdown. Right? I, I actually stop him here. He, he, he actually plays a bad play call. He runs a toss. Oh, my God. I, I didn't even watch this because yeah. I just pretty much – I concerned – I just was cool with him getting a touchdown. Yeah, I see. I, mean, I forget what I was doing. Yeah, I was doing too. something watching this at the same time. And you're right. This is atrocious call. Yeah. And I talk, man, I talk in my little Discord all the time about this type of call. Mm-hmm. First and goal on the inches, I am running four just plays downhill. Forward. Exactly. Yeah, I'm definitely forward. not running any play that can lose yards <laughs> because I just want to get closer and closer and closer. And right here, boom. I mean, then we hit B. What? The, oh. Noonan has, without a doubt, the worst, like, juke run stick in yeah, the history of Madden. If anything, you got to go upfield on that. Inside, but as soon as I see someone moving out like that, that's where I that's where I go ahead and I just dead toss. How you would have had it if you trusted the, the white guy, just yeah. trusted the block. But I, I dead toss. I, I'm listen. I hate toss. I hate it with a passion. Maybe this yeah. year more so than any other year. 
I use it because sneak is so bad, and all the other runs are kind of shitty. But so he gets three here because of that. No, play. he gets he gets seven because I suck. Oh no! I, I let him did. He pretty inside much consolation and the inside yeah the inside zones. Man, I freaking fell asleep. I mean, I was pissed at that. Yeah, but that do you, that's when you gotta remember who you're playing. Exactly. And the situation in that there's nothing there for you, you know. So the best thing you can do, honestly, is run the ball and hope to get in, or run a screen or some dumb shit. Because people, exactly you're not gonna have did. a dot here. You know, you're not gonna have this super low ball like to the outside. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna have any of that. So he just and I don't. I feel like it's not terrible run D. I guess it is. I don't know. I think my user gets he just caught didn't up. play it at all. Like I try to shoot the gap right here, and then yeah, yeah he, he motioned the guy up. at the right time. Mm -hmm. But we talked about Slim doing last game. He motioned the guy, snapped him at the right time. But when that's sickening, I I cry about that. Yeah, I was sick and giving up a touchdown. Uh, app scum kick goes out of bounds. Did they pass that scum kick all the way dead? Oh yeah, that thing goes fifty yards out of bounds now. Wow, oh, well, that's good. Okay, now look at the figgy schemes. Now Diggs is the only one without route chemistry. Mm. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, you might have had him if you had somebody faster. Too. Oh yeah, I was too afraid to try what's his name. Yeah, with Diggs him. is slow though. Ain't he eighty speed or ninety speed? He's like ninety, ninety one, something like that. Is it that fast? Damn. No Tyree Hill for you. Yeah. Now, did you do it this play? Maybe not. Like, you run in New England, obviously. So, you have curl flat. You have pat sail. You have verticals. Yeah, I switched. That. Like right here, I I had uh, I faded X. X, if you go back to the beginning of that play, it looks like, he like he's, it looks like he's baseline press is what it looks like. So, I'm thinking, all right, so you hoping to get a bomb. it don't matter if he's in a deep quarter. I should, yeah, bit. I should be able to get over top, but it didn't didn't at all. So, you got, this is a real skimbo-ish first couple plays right here. Yeah, it was. This it was, was very skimbo, everybody on a streak yeah. and one corner route. Skimbo, yeah. you know, skimbo specials out here. So, I'm like, all yeah, right, figure the same damn figgy. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get big plays. You're trying to get Noonan out of here. And a lot of that can go to the frustration of, giving up that touchdown on that third down. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, when you give up a touchdown where you should have held him to three, it's you like, damn, I want to chase him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to hurry up and get it back. And that was fortunate right now, there, too. this Vic. is what I noticed, too. Vic being Vic. Oh, yeah, of course. You switch your receivers because you know what you're going to run. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I obviously – uh, this is the beauty of playing on a different TV and not yeah, being able to yeah, see Yeah, and not being able to pick Because me watching like this, that. I start – I'm like, all right, he's doing this shit for a reason. Why is he doing this? It's because what you want to do is you want to put Moss on a, cor on a corner route <laughs> and then flip it and then put Beckham on a corner route. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, you have two – well, that time you didn't do that. You just ran past sale, it looked like, or someplace. Shit. Verticals. Verticals. Yeah. I feel like you freestyled a lot out of verticals, just a lot of weird shit. Oh, yeah, we got a lot. I got a, lot. I got a couple different sets yeah, of verticals. Thousand, but ultimately, you always wanted to do the little wheel route. Mm -hmm. Hope he gave you the little wheel route for a nice, easy 10 yards. I wish they would just fix the sideline possession catch animation because yeah. the verticals route would be it would be so much better, but they, they still make you, like, so weird animation. So is this one? Yeah, this one you run your little – I messed up the the route though, so I had to I had to call timeout. I'm nothing mad about it. And then I think I just ran pat that. I said bumped that. I just ran pat sale. Uh -huh, okay. Now obviously you probably played against three three five out a million times. Mm -hmm. And baseline press. I noon and three three five out kind of like my shitty three three five out. It was really nothing special. Well, big catch there. Yeah, OBJ, no fatigue. Apke right there. All the time. Yeah, you're right. Apke right there knocks that out, though. I don't know who the hell he's using, but Apke knocks yeah. that out. I had a lot of confidence in that third just because I had just called a timeout, and OBJ really hangs on to everything. See, I wouldn't have thought about the timeout, but I would have thrown that shit anyway just because yeah. it's back on. I would have thrown that to the door it set. Was, I really didn't think about it at the time. It was really just my excuse afterwards. Oh, yeah. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it wasn't that tough of a catch. It's just a catch that he could have dropped. Yeah, he That's what I'm saying. It wasn't it. like mm -hmm. a lucky catch. It's just, it was a, probably – you know, 35% drop maybe if he strips or hit sticks you. Maybe again, another vertical is just a boob. That's a skimbo setup. Boom. And you hit this, I promise how many times you hit this guy over the middle. And this guy, he didn't man him up one time, never. I don't think. Nope, I don't even think he guarded him. I feel like it was just 3 3 5 I with a cloud flat on both sides. There are some people who just get too. I'm one of them. I, you, you won't really catch me man people up too often, but people get too caught up just running their same. Same setups on defense, and they don't ever really. He he did a good job kind of mixing it up, but like man, as far as manning someone up when yeah. you're running zone all the time, a lot of people don't do that. 
Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, at, at some point, this guy is gonna get manned up by something on my on my field. Somebody. It's just too easy to snap and throw that, especially if I have to guard the whole middle of the field, because you already worried about all this shit. Oh, you got Fournette too. Jeez, you sold out. Yeah, I mean, I don't got the Goonie one. Though. I got the. He still meets the truck and oh, the spin threshold. I think I throw a nice little corner out to LBJ right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is your your play. The first time it works. And honestly, he oh, he got it in the end zone. He he bluff lurked that corner route yeah, the rest of the did. game. The rest of the game, that's why he like bluff lurked the rest and lets you throw one or the other over the middle every time. I think his his biggest mistake on defense as far as defending that corner strike is what he was doing because the way he was he the way he was setting up his blitz, he would take the mid read and he'd put it into a hard flat most of the time. Yeah. So he never had he it was always his user having to guard the middle of the field. So he just had to like he so just he had, had to, to guard the corner route exactly. And it's like once you hesitate, it's it's pretty much a wrap for you. Now he's gonna keep. I just want to see more plays where he runs right into Sean Taylor and just here we go. Oh, he just spun that time. But there's just plays where he just spins back into coverage. It's like, dude, you got a yeah. truck. You got to do something. Yeah. You got to provide us with some type of explosion. Pause. And get a big play because you need a big play. You're not just gonna keep winning with four yard play. Here we go. I'm just what the call? he must have been tired or something, man. I need, I need a truck from Fortnite. Yeah, man. I don't. Uh, that's first first play of, that was, of the drive was the last play. I'm definitely trucking. I don't care who you got back there because in yeah. salary cap, even even when you got the hitters, I I had like four hitters out there for a while. Like they just they just don't hit stick that often. Chantel playing tight though. I feel like he wasn't in a deep blue zone. How well he's playing the ball right there. No, nah, not right there. I think this drive I start I start to man Sean Taylor up. I think I start to run like a, like a cover three ish. You yeah, see, he yeah, might have been in the right yellow there. or something because yeah, he didn't yeah. he didn't take a step backwards at all. Yeah. And that goes to having a good Sean Taylor with the with the play rec really coming down and making making that play mm -hmm. because like I said, I mean he had a thousand chances to make big plays with Fournette. There was another one. He's just Spin. running from he's running from yeah. Sean Taylor and and. It kind of got back to last year was when you truck somebody, everybody else kind of stopped. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, I want one of those plays. If I'm running the ball this much, I want one of those oh, plays. Yeah, that's still alive. Truck. The truck and then yeah. and then the guy right next to it starts, oh, slowly yeah, starts to, sure. to run the other direction. Oh, for sure. That's definitely something that I want. And, I mean, he didn't go for the truck pretty much all game. But he's definitely pounding the ball. That I can't lie, that shitty tight end is kind of doing a decent job on this Jabal Sheard I think you have right there. I look, you got a decent little – Miles Garrett? Yeah, I got uh, Miles Garrett, Chubb, and then like Sheard and uh, base Linval, like 10 cap Linval. Oh, okay. I mean, you got you got some guys up there then. Mm -hmm. Are these all safeties at line? Oh, that was a good play. You yeah. ain't mean to do that. Uh, I got lucky right all there. All right, so <laughs> yeah, the, the, like, the, low, the low wraparound. That's RG, like, oh, that's thick work. Yeah. Nah, I see. But it looked good. It's like, oh, shit, that's, that's yeah. the wham defense. That's the one right in a million right there. That's some stuff that'll make you really uh forget about. Oh, this, this is when you this get mossed. It. This is it. This this has pissed me off too about this hurt like me. bro, like you got a third and eight. Oh, show me that shit again. Who are we doing the ball to right here? Yeah, 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 I don't know. Who are we doing the ball to right here? Who what, what are my options on this play right here? This is literally <laughs> the play we snapped. This, like, this I, is the ag. This is the this is the, I'm throwing yeah. it to Calvin. Yeah, but it's like, bro, you gotta give me something better. You gotta put a curl out there, a hitch or something. <laughs> Because what's this drag going to do? I mean, really. Because this post, I feel like this post, you don't even really have to guard it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you just run cover three, quarter of this guy, and you go, go snap the ball. Like, where are you going to throw the ball? And that's that's something that I was like, what? And Afke screamed at him, broke the sack, which Michael Vick should do. And who else? Who the hell else are you going to throw it to? And we talked about your shitters, but that's actually Sean Taylor that got nuts on his head. Trey so. Wayne got, got Trey Wayne's died. <laughs> Somebody took him out. A sniper took him out from the stands. <laughs> Trey Wayne's got took out from oh, the stands. Rip. And then Sean Taylor got in. So pretty much he lost uh, Sean Taylor right there. And you, know, you sick because yeah. there's no time left in the head. You thinking like, nah, bro. Nah, it didn't just happen. Especially against a runner. I was focused on getting the whole three, clock. I mean, what? This is now he goes mid re now, if he had ran the same defense he ran all the way up and down the field, you were boxed on this play. Yeah, he he had – I don't know what, what zone he had. A, he had an X. Three record back. or a, whatchamacallit. Or a uh, – uh, no, X would X would start slowly getting open. But oh, yeah. he was guarding X. He was guarding uh, the pass sale route. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying he didn't put a cloud flat over here. Yeah. He just got the the, the hook curl. Oh, yeah, yeah. He actually yeah, left look. the mid-read this time. Yeah, and now that's what I'm saying. If he has a cloud over here, you have nowhere to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. And that spin move just killed him, boom. That's the difference. You spun, got 20 extra yards, he spins back into the tacklers. <laughs> just a little bit difference, man. So that's your three points right there. Now you, it's tough. It's going to be tough to get 
seven points yeah, because of the time. Yeah, without some So it's like you can't really – the point is, I mean, you're just cool getting three, really. I mean, you're probably going to try to run the corner route to the end zone here or something because there's really mm-hmm. nothing you could really do or try to hit the vertical route again. I was just trying to get a little bit closer so I could run verticals, but he was using it, and so I was just – And that was risky. You get sacked yeah. there, and now you're getting, it's getting a little dark for you. Because yeah, 17, that's it. a fumble, fumble six. Yeah, that was, that was rough for you right there. See, that was a little questionable. Yeah. So now this is where I might chalk it and just run base. Is that what you do? I don't know what yeah, the hell I do. you do. You just chalk it and take mm-hmm. three. Okay. See, because you were like, damn, I just survived. Yep. Almost got sacked. Yep. Almost got screwed. Almost lost yards here, too. Shit. So 10, 14, three and a half. You got to feel okay because he got that one catch he shouldn't have got. Or the one, well, I mean. Calvin yeah. Johnson's Calvin Johnson. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even mad. I mean, uh, yeah. the the broken sack is what I was mad at. But oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. You got to throw it, and he catches it. That's what he got him for. And we're trucking with our fullback, uh, Shannon Sharp, there on the kickoff. Because I remember seeing – I was watching back. I was like, Joke Joke was talking about, uh, like, how these dudes, these runners always have, like, these decoy goon wide receivers. And it's like, uh, he, he, he definitely got him there for whenever he has to just chuck one up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you ran verticals 4,000 different ways. And people are going to steal this. Don't worry. This is going to get yoinked. No, that play was terrible. Uh, that in route? Don't worry. People are going to steal that in Why route. would they steal that? Don't worry. They're going to steal it. It, 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 it was, op- it was open. No, but you did that by accident. Oh, I promise I you. I do never believe that there's a wheel route, a drag route, and a deep drag end route on the field. Drag route and an in route. That's, so never, that is the setup. This bro. is never. Damn, this that's never it. My man's kind of screaming. Uh, he's, 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 this, 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 this is the possession that he's that his loop comes in like two, three times. Oh, yeah, he got you. Boom. Then he clicked on. The click on. The J Mills click on sack. Oh, man. I don't get I have a wheel route. That in route. Where, where, where do, how is that grounding? Grounding. I don't, couldn't tell you how grounding works, dude. If I could, I'd be a better player. I get the, more groundings than anybody in the whole world. The loop. Uh, I think. I, I think. I don't think it comes in. I think. I. I, got, I was just. I was shook at this point. So I just do the drag right away. Oh, uh, then just Shannon get Sharp some, fought a little bit. Yeah, though. just to help the third down. So he's got nine yards. It could have been five. You know that definitely. Yeah, but that's what it's about, man. You got to get once you lose yards like that, you got to exactly play for the more downs. A chunk rather than just one big ass play. Yeah, that's one thing I've gotten better. I used to always just go for like the big play on like third and well, fourteen sure. or second or whatever. For sure, you definitely got to learn to... Uh, right here, Ron Parker screams at me again. Ron Parker kills you. Uh, this is where you punt. Nah, oh, I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even punt right here. I, I went for it. Oh, Jesus. I know that you get the ball away. We're going a lot of vertical. I felt like you didn't start really frying until you started running the corner strike shit. Yeah, corner, yeah. Way more yeah, against the shit. I definitely should have. Your running back's not doing dick. Yeah, Did you go with the in route shit there. again? Hold on. Mm-hmm. Tell me you didn't run this play again. Figgy, that play is not it. Hey, bro, when the community steals it. No one is going to steal a drag, a deep back. end route, and a wheel. When the community okay. steals it. And okay. it's, not, it's not even mine. That's the first thing. I, I I can't even take credit for it. It's 100% Blocky's. But, well, Blocky, I know you're listening. That shit's not <laughs> it. Like, there's just no way that's it. This right here. I mean, I feel like I feel like I should have aggressive caught this now I think about oh, yeah, it. I remember this quick snack. You're a bum for this, too. The sneak attack. You just snuck attack this formation on, on the game. Ah, I got to pass that down. That's an aggressive catch. He catches that 100%. Ah, he just dropped it. Just just like Beckham caught that one for you in the first half. Yeah, 50 Moss 50 dropped that up. one yep. in, in the second half for you. But Moss isn't the best. I'm going to catch some shit. Thank you, Blackie. Blackie just said I don't run an in route. Yeah, I don't know what the hell Figgy's talking about. That shit is ugly. It is not the uh, – uh, that play will never be successful. <laughs> and there we go. Boom. Two balls here making a play for you. Nunes filling his wham right now. Steve he's Blocky's he's gonna make some plays. Lying his ass off in the chat. Like I can't he ain't dot me with that exact setup a thousand times. And he's chewing on you know right now if I give up a touchdown it's gonna get dark. Like yeah, yeah it's gonna get dark if I give up a touchdown. I was so sad when he right. Oh he's fighting. He, he gets the animation where he just fights in for easy, easy tutty. As he should, man. I'm if I'm for net, if I'm new to, you're getting this till fourth down unless I get like backed up because I just know a touchdown can win me this game. And then he, he's happy because he's boxing your drag and your deep in route. That shit is not – that shit almost lost you to the Eagles Club Championship Series. Bro, oh, that yeah. is Ooh. not what lost me. It, uh, freaking Bruh, wham no. and that loop. That no. one possession where the loop decided to come Because in. you ran that stupid-ass play instead of – you know, once you go to the play Corner where you strike, get the yeah. ball out of your hands, the loop doesn't matter. Yeah. The loop kills people that want to just pass the ball 20 yards down the field. Once you went to the high-low shit and it was over. 
Now, this is honestly, this is what was impressive because I see so many people when this happens, it's just it's just they're cooked. Yeah. Especially because you're you're playing a guy you shouldn't lose to. If you play Noonan a hundred times, you won't win ninety seven percent of the time. Mm-hmm. So, so because because the Wham's getting to you, Calvin Johnson mossed you, he looped you a couple times, you gotta stop. On anybody in this situation is gonna be they heart gonna be beating a little faster. We talked about the first half, how you gave up the running touchdown, you came up and tried to get it all back. Mm-hmm. Now most people try to when you get down eleven points in the second half, they wanna get it all back. I gotta chase the points. And when you go ahead and say, Let me stop running stupid ass in routes and I think drags, that's, yeah, this is the time where I where I heard I heard WW was like, Stop running verticals, stop, stop running vertical, stop, stop playing like skimbo. There was a lot of skimbo in this first half. Said, start running corner strike and I was like, All right, let's curl flats. In. Curl flats and verticals with it would have just streak in a, in an in route. That's what I told myself. I saw that. I said it's third quarter, two minutes left. We got plenty of time. Just run your offense. Go down, get seven. Statement drive real quick. Yeah, you play have to. defense. Because if you're Noonan right now, oh, I'm smelling my shit right now. Yeah. I'm the man. I'm the <laughs> Eagles Club champion. Yeah. Because all I gotta do is. All, and this is what pissed me off about Noonan right now. Because if I'm Noonan, I'm like, listen, I, Figgy's going to score eventually. I want to make sure I get to the fourth quarter on this drive. Even if he gets seven, I want to be in the fourth yeah, quarter man, already. Don't break right here. Yeah, I'm not doing any hard flats. Yeah. I'm not doing anything cute. And I swear he just started giving up 15, 20 yards every single play. And this is where you came out right away. And, and I noticed this. Every time you went wide side, the short side, it was this play. Every I think, single time. Yeah, I, I think I went to go to go run that play. And I don't know. Yeah, right there it is. Boom. And this shit just killed. And there we go, right there, boom. That's all because he went, he went hard for that. So he had, like I said, he lurked the corner out every play. He, every play after this ran, he ran hard flats and lurked the corner out. Mm-hmm. For me, when this starts, Shannon Sharp's got to catch the ball. You can go ahead and throw to Shannon Sharp. You truck me, you get your six yards, eight yards. God yep. bless because one. That's 15, 20 seconds more off the clock, especially if you want to be out here hot routing, flipping, hot routing again. Yep, exactly. You're going to take 20, 30 seconds off the clock every single time. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and let you. I'm up 11 points. The world is mine right now. So boom, we're giving up 15 yards of first play. That's cool. Now, I, like I said, now you're flipping wide receivers. Now, I don't see that if I'm Noonan, but I definitely see that if I'm at home. But you didn't even flip them here because you're not going to run that play. I don't know what the hell you're going to do. It's verticals or it's the, the corner strike play. Verticals because it's wide side, it's, it's probably going to be yeah, verticals. verticals. And you have it. Boom. And I, I had that all game, too. But I was just – I was saving. What? I was waiting to throw that. Because I, I, I noticed that when I ran it to the left side, he had the safety in the hard flat. Oh, safety in the hard flat. You got, yeah, you got time to, to okay. throw it. Now, for me, when a bunch, I just claw flat this guy and deep half that guy. I said, go ahead. Throw to Shannon Sharp. Mm-hmm. And we're going short side to wide side. So I might even not blitz and, and, and oh, yeah, double flat. Forward. Yep. Mm-hmm. A little curl flat action. Now, he had the nastiest – Guy over here, and I guess it was a quarter that was doing that Slay, shit. Slay, yeah. He was playing that one. That shit. one that was better. Like that one wasn't like that one. Yeah, the was other as one iffy. you caught. The other one though, I've never seen. Like, the other one I don't was know like, if you do it like early like, or maybe you couldn't bomb Dion because Dion was in deep. Uh, now now you're gonna go wide side to short side is always corner strike. There it is. Yo, with with OBJ on the right side. Yep. And you see how much time you take off the clock, and we go hard flats again. Well, not really. I think, that might I think he, I think he went hard really. flat. It and just got bumped. bumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bumped. But that honestly, that was the best thing that could happen because only four yards. Boom! At one fifteen, you're going to take another bunch of seconds off the clock. Well, actually, you're starting short side here, so you'll probably run verticals and flip it, or yeah. you'll just run the ball. This is verticals with the in route drag, yep. and then I think I left Shannon Sharp on his little wheel route. Sheesh. Noonan, very, very. Oh, not bad defense. Not bad at all. OG, ooh, another big catch. But you in such a rhythm right now, though. Mm-hmm. Like every player is working, but that was that was probably the best defense he's played this this, this whole drive, really. But every time down, he's he's just. Oh, that time we're just no flat zone over there, huh? Yeah. Good tackle though. I mean, he's fighting to get to the fourth quarter. If he can get one more stop, that'll definitely be a. Or I yeah, score right here. Base. Mm-hmm. That is the problem with the no baseline is that these guys will get blocked. <laughs> and you can definitely boot this. And honestly, if I'm shooting base, I'm probably – actually, he kind of blew that shit up. Mm, but yeah, he did. He just bad user. Yeah. He, just, he went in, like, the same gap as somebody else. So, he scored there before the fourth, minute, before the fourth quarter. That's why I said, man, if I'm going to give up a touchdown, I want to go ahead and, and 
at least get the game to the fourth quarter because I'm a runner. But nevertheless, now this is what I talk about all the time, man. I don't. You didn't go for two here. And I would never went for two here yeah. ever. But it came back to the game like, damn, maybe you should have went for two there because you do get the ball back down four. But talk about why you didn't go for two there and, and the thought process behind that. It just seemed like every other big game that i ever been in where, like, I decided to go for two in that situation, I didn't get it, and then it just ended up coming back to bite me. So I felt that I was going to come out, I was going to get this stop that I needed, and I was going to go score again, and that was going to be that. Mm -hmm. For sure. So I feel like I didn't need the two point. For sure. And, and it's also a lot of football game left. Mm-hmm. Because you assume he's going to run in the first place, so that's going to get to the fourth quarter right mm -hmm. there, boom. But it's five-minute quarters, you can do that. I mean, if you're talking four-minute quarters here, maybe it's different. You, especially, you know, regs with a 40-second play clock, it's probably way different. And that goes into us having to play so many different modes. It's so, many, it's so you know, mixed in out throughout the year. Oh, yeah. You know, where you're playing the salary cap game now, you want to start playing regs, get ready for Las Vegas. It's a completely different mindset. Yep. But with salary cap, the 30-second play clock, and five-minute quarters – Definitely the right move to never chase these points. And I tell people all the time, never to chase points. I only go for two when I absolutely have to. So you go ahead and kick this field goal, you kick this extra point, and you kick the ball out of bounds because obviously probably because of the wind and every, everybody was kicking the shit out of bounds. Yeah. And I, I I believe my man Noonan, man, my man Noonan. This is where I think you get the – this guy just he comes, comes in. in he, he, he gets the wham. Like, I think he gets one first down. Here we go again. Oh, my God. The spin on the second and seven. The spin to stop the first down. This is what I talk about. That his, he is the worst let's make a play player I've ever seen. Look at this. Truck. Like Ten like, times out of ten, you got a truck right and there. It's not even – all you got to do is cut back to the right a little bit and let Calvin Johnson make the block for you. Mm -hmm. Look at these two guys. That could be bam, bam. Or at least you got two blockers to block three people. Just slow down, get behind Calvin Johnson, and run. Even if you get tackled, you're going to get the first down. Like, bro, even cut this way, cut back this way, do anything. This is the worst thing we could have done here. Get tackled, and now we're at third down. Like, oh, my God. Like, as much as he ran wham, he could have had so many more yards if he was able to make a play in the secondary. And as much as we talk about skill gap, that's a skill gap. Yeah. And then this is what you talk about. Well, you wasn't ready for goal line because I know this ain't no damn goal line defense. Nah. you just like, oh, please, this looks intimidating. It's funny because my boy Prodigy actually has QB sneak defense out of nickel normal too. And I didn't pick that up from him. I'd have been able to bag it right here. Yeah, I mean, Maybe it's been a different game. I mean, I should went full back dive. And I believe this is where he starts getting bagged. Yeah, this is where I get to stop. Where you get the, one of the, these guys. To this is where you see, right. you see Jeez, Edry. I, I see already safeties up line, all over so the place. I had to move him down. Safety's all over the place, and that's when you got to start getting aggressive because you can't let the time get out. But that time, Apke made a play. Apke made a play. We talked about it all year with Zan. Talk about this is safeties. They don't make. They make too many plays against the run. But Apke absolutely Apke. played like Lawrence Taylor right there. And I don't know who the hell tried to block him, but he's been getting blocked all day. All these guys have been getting pretty much been getting mauled oh, all day. He's got the god offensive line. This looks like Zach Martin number seventy. I'm just going to assume that's a Zach Martin. And I. I is that who gets off in those 72? I don't know who 77 is. Willie Roof? <laughs> I don't know. But he just dish rags him. Oh, no, that's the next place. Shit. Yeah, that was really Oh, that's when the guy on the free. outside came free. So twenty. So over here, did you man him up at the last second? No. Nah, he, he, why did he shift I, in like that? I don't shade, know. Maybe, shade inside. Oh, you did a little did a little something? Yeah. Man, once he blew that up, I know my man Luna's cooked. Because... Where they're going to the, this the right here. six drags and then, you know what I'm saying? This right here is where my boy Jabal Shear comes in clutch. But the blitz you, don't come in. Did you play for this play? Because I'm assuming it's just the same vertical shit mm -hmm. with the hitch. Yeah, I, I put I put what's his name in a in a hook and then shaded over the top and spotlighted uh, Moss, hoping he would just stay with him for a little bit and then bam, the pressure. Oh, yeah, he there. definitely, that's definitely a dot if he mm -hmm. doesn't get there. Exactly. So you was just kind of freestyling on defense. I hope this works. Mm. Never thought to just I was just hoping that the pressure was, was, was going to get there. Oh, yeah. you uh, So you start blitzing six people every time out of that, that nickel normal shit. And right here, oh, I know that. I think oh, yeah. he just runs out of time. No, nah, he, 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 he just, I guess he didn't like what he saw. He just decides to. I mean, he's going to see the same thing. I think he just right didn't. Game. He wasn't comfortable anything. He was running. But right here, I think for Noonan, I think uh, maybe it's not worth a timeout. But I don't mind. I don't mind the punt at all. But you did go down the field fairly easily. I think I gauge when I'm going to punt the ball, when I'm going to turn the ball over. 
depending on how well my opponent is playing on offense. Yeah, I would I would go ahead and base it off of my last drive. And yeah, that would be that would be a big red flag in my head to be like, nah, I gotta I gotta go for this. Yeah, and especially to score too because you need a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Although this was a fabulous punt, it worked out perfectly. Yeah, OBJ helping me. And but you need a touchdown. You know, you have all day. The time is really not an issue. But once we get, we go back to where I'm not playing any hard flats this drive through. You're not getting any hard flats. And the thing he had, man, he had this this quarter playing the shit out of curl flat. Better than anything I've seen all year play that. And once again, we see Beckham. Boom. That's okay, I guess. It's pretty unnecessary spin. I could have stiff arm. Probably got a couple more yards. Yeah, that was one where you could have just ran, but you get so used to just spinning. Mm-hmm. Like, that's pretty much just what we all spin happy. Just spin, yeah. spin, spin, spin. So, that's neither here nor there. It's just, here we go. Now, now this is when you have to recognize a figure's running corner strike. Boom. Has to. Deion Sanders, man up on B. Do something of it in the deep blue in the middle of the field. Once again, I play cloud flat, so I have to lurk the corner route. Oh, you got knocked out of a strip animation there. Gotta love that. But he has to realize that every time. I'm going to be real. I notice the shit because I'm watching, and it's mm-hmm. easy to watch. I wouldn't have really picked up on that shit in the middle of the game. Probably not. If I watched you play two games, it's possible. But like I said, once you start going to this and really getting the ball out of your hand, it, the offense was a lot better. And not once that he – well, obviously, if you flip now, I'm assuming it's curl flat or verticals mm-hmm. again. Yeah, once once someone, like, starts to, like, get their adjustments right for the flip, then I then I just stop. I just stop flipping. Once again, this shitty – oh, you ain't get See, that one. That, that's, that, that's the animation, though. That's the animation that they, they need to fix. That should yeah. just be a tip. They don't need to easy. fix anything else on, on, on offense. Exactly. Nothing else on offense need to go ahead and, and be fixed. Now, once again, that's another play where you ran in route and the drag. Didn't work. I don't see one play in this whole game where in route and drag worked. Right, that nope. in route is getting Figured. open because no, he, he's not because he doesn't have the uh, right here. It is that Yoink. one. Now and the nice little animation afterwards. I love. I think that's Marshawn Lattimore. Patrick Peterson's picking it off. Yeah, is, is that Mar? Is that Marshawn? Or is that Slay? Twenty three. I don't know. Is twenty three? Is Slay twenty three? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure it's, it's Slay. probably Slay. Yeah. Okay. He had Slay gooning. Yeah, but like I said, Patrick Peterson's picking that off. Ramsey is definitely picking it off. I just need to know how the hell he had him. Pat Pete just plays different playing. in this game. I'm trying to tell people they don't really, want to listen to me. He really does. Great user block shed with the fluke. Who the hell is that guy he had? Some number 61 with, with dreads? Yeah, I don't even know who that was. I don't know, but he just geeked up right there. Oh, what, what are we doing here? Here he did it again. Oh my God! He I'll like tell you came something. off it for like a second. I don't know what he and was doing. And I will tell you this right here: Apke goes and get. Oh, he actually manned up X for the worst play you can man him up on. I was surprised he had that really good Dion up at um at strong safety. I'm surprised he he didn't man him up at all to X like the drag or for a pad yeah, sale. For sure, I think he like they say he can't get burnt. Yeah. So pretty much. What they, that's why he was allowed to play Slade jumping the corner route because he'd be so aggressive because Deion's not going to get burnt on mm-hmm. the cover uh, the cover three beater pretty much. And now this is where you got to cook up some dots down there. For sure, like I said, Shannon Sharp d- didn't catch the ball at all. Other than when he didn't cart. And once again, the same thing. I mean, that play is just killer for 3-3-5 odd, just like corner strike was last year for 3-3-5 odd. Mm-hmm. You know, just high, low to short side, and, and he just played hard flats every time. And we're going aggressive here. Talk about that. I uh, just wanted for that to freaking fight. You'd be a hog for me one time. <laughs> we're not worried about a fumble here? No. I, for me, for my for my experiences, I've been playing on ag for, like, since since the first time I had heard about it. I don't know how long ago it was. Yeah. But the only time I ever fumbled was my, with my, uh, my wide receivers. My receivers. Though okay. it died, quick strip fumble. My wide for that never fumbled for me, though. Okay. No, like I said, Noonan did call a timeout. Now here, I mean, you just want to score. It's not even about the time when you're down four points. At this point, yeah. At, at this point, I was like, I get a touchdown. He's he's. And that's a big play game. that you go from the four-yard line to the one-yard line. Mm-hmm. You know, that's Fournette fighting turns it instead of a two-yard game, one-yard game. Now you're at, now you're in goal line offense, mm-hmm. pretty much. And if you're Noonan, you're like, hurry up! I, I, I'm still fighting right here, especially if you're on goal line. I don't think you're gonna score. Especially from the the inch line. I don't, I don't forget what the hell you do. But you got uh, Moss. I like oh, that I think right I just there. run power over right here. You ran power O? Mm-hmm. Is that the move? It's fluky. I'd, be, I'd just be pinching my line, hoping nobody shoots free. Just walk in. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the easy one. Okay. So, there you go. You was down 11 points, and now you're up three points. 
I was hype. Uh, I was so happy at this point. Because you were just for the last fifteen, ten, fifteen minutes, you've been thinking he's going to lose the yep. wham. When I was when he had, when he had whammy, when I, and I went down ten points or something like that. That's where I was. I was in my head. I was and like, twist check won't kill you. I was like, I just lost a wham. No, it was my boy. Shout out Crown the King. He's telling me for like the whole like first two weeks of it. Like you lab for a uh, you lab for wham yet, Figgy? You get any reps for wham? Ah, I'm, I'm sitting. Time. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna do it in a couple of days. Ah, I'm gonna do it in a couple of days. Ah, I'll do it. Do it whatever, whatever, whatever. I can hear Crown now saying this shit. Now you see, yep. how many times has the scum kick went out of bounds? Oh, this was the part. It was as good as it gets. I knew why. It, I knew why it went out of bounds. This kick, the wind was going the opposite way of the scum kick, so, so I knew. So I knew I'd be able. To, I knew I'd be able to get it. I say no more. I mean, he now. he kills himself right here. I think he he does. He 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 runs he a play. Oh, he spins he the, inside. No, he pretty much he is like the, the play, worst thing he, he ran can. the hitch. Well, he put him outside, and, he, like, yeah, and, and, then like, and then he spins to the inside. And, and he doesn't it's call cool a if it's in the middle of the game, but when you, oh no, he just he just tries oh, to throw yeah. it up one time. I'm not mad at it, even though he had everybody else open. That corner yeah. route would have got out of bounds. I gotta put some air on there, let uh, <laughs> let Calvin go do his thing. But yeah, get him close. That I remember he does his his money play, and he playmakers outside. We're in a situation I'm playmaker and up or some shit. Because I felt like, all right, playmaker, I'm up. Because I think right here you just cover two blitz the whole team. Oh, no, you put deep blue. But he put him outside. Just put him up and get get 17 yards. And you might have to use your burner right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you have to call uh, timeout right there. Look how much time he kills right here. This, this, this right here, I'm thinking like, yep, tick, 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 tick. This shit's cooked. This shit's cooked after this. And, then that and now we're doing 16 hot audibles. routes again. You yep. might as well have Cam Newton pointing there. Right here, that should have been a pick. But oh, he definitely got to go out of bounds, though. What? Yeah, see, exactly. The, the, like, the, the oh, yeah, waste of his time him. spinning and whatnot. Yeah, because even if you're, like, 13 seconds and a timeout, you can hit that post around the Eagle logo or something like that yeah. and get yourself a chance. But, shoot. Now you have now you have Calvin Johnson. Yeah, I, I was disappointed that he didn't even try. Oh, he's getting a chuck. What, what, I mean, what, what are we waiting for? Yeah. And that's, that's cooked it. Boom, so there you go. What did they ask you? Did they ask you anything? Or this is your interview? What did you say? You know, I just really thank everybody for throwing this event. You know, I'm really <laughs> happy for the Eagles for allowing me to par participate. I think Rico had asked me about uh, – he had asked me about his fourth down where he punted, and he'd asked me if I, if I would punt, and I was like, nah, you can't punt. He's like, biggest game that you ever play, you got to leave everything out there. Yeah, definitely got to leave everything out there. So we prepared – to take a break now. Obviously, the game's going to be super different after this patch that just dropped today. I mean, I can't really comment on it. I haven't played. I've been away for the whole weekend. Just got back today for the show. And I haven't played it, but it's out today. I'm excited to play it. You said you played it a little bit. Did you notice? What are the biggest differences you noticed in this new patch? Biggest differences that I noticed about the patch. Um, offensive line uh, finally seems to be, you know, real good. The um, If you contain and... Dude doesn't come free. He'll just he'll kind of just like before in the beginning of the game it would happen, but I didn't know why why it would happen. But now the container will just stay there at the end of the line. It won't even rush the quarterback. Um, yeah. pretty much yeah, like all blitzes, like all like edge heat stuff like that is dead. And no, fall, more fall, you know? no, no, no more contains. Contains have been glitchy and madden since the day they put them in. Yeah, yeah. And I think they're they're very needed because otherwise there's no way to stop the quarterback from rolling out one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't even mind if Contains literally, like you said, just stood there and said, if the quarterback runs this way, he's going to get sacked. But yeah. I'm not going to rush the quarterback if he stands in the pocket. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good thing. I mean, somebody's going to find some defense is going to break him. Oh, yeah. There's I'm no just, way I'm they fix the game it. and then all of a sudden 3-3-5 three, three, five odd doesn't work. As, as long as that guy's still looping, yep. I think it's still going to have some, a little, yeah. some type of purpose. I've already seen a couple people on Twitter talking about 55 odd dead. No, it's just, just a new setup. You just got to yeah, find that it. new setup. That's how uh, Mike Scrape used to be. I remember he used to patch it and somebody would all, well, flip it and shift this oh, way. Yeah, and then somebody yeah, else yeah. shooting through Scrape your line. Scrape was crazy. And there's definitely, so definitely got to get used to the patch. Definitely going to play that. I'm going to talk about that more next week. And to also talk about um, just the way the DC leaderboards have started. You know, the confusion where it's all mad and where it's all pro. How's the game feeling? Oh, yeah. What's the leaderboard structure like? What makes the leaderboards great and what doesn't? We're getting a lot of that. But we got to – you got two months off to prepare for uh, – L or not L.A., Redwood, uh, California. Redwood, California, yep. So what, what are some things you learned last year that you needed to take with you this year so you move out of the NFC East? 
I just I just got to do my best to have an understanding of the game because mm-hmm. I think when it comes to two two top players like like myself and Ghost when they when they match up I think it just comes to understanding of the game. So mm-hmm. last year Ghost like people people will say um, his block kick was lucky, but he he had a glitch. Like he knew he knew that he, he knew he could he could block kicks a little bit more often than anybody else. Mm-hmm. So he had that. He had. Um, he he had the me and block. He had the three three five ad glitch, but he had he had like pass blockers where they were like ninety five plus plus mm-hmm. pass blocker or something like that. So he knew that was gonna dead the ag, and then he also had um, a c route glitch where he did, he didn't even have to use it that often mm-hmm. because because the ag wasn't getting him to that much. So when it pretty much what it, what ended up coming down to versus me and Ghost last year was just knowledge of the game. He he knew more about the game. So mm-hmm. pretty and much it, come January, I'm just trying to know everything about the game that yeah, I can. That's what you gotta do, and, and ultimately that. <laughs> Just revolves around who you surround yourself with. Exactly, I got you the know, nerdiest dude. Shout yeah. out Blocky. Blocky is the nerdiest, so you got Blocky. I know you got Crown, old ass who always, you know, he know everything. Oh yeah, you know they're already scheming up blitzes. Oh yeah, for sure. You know you got all them guys. You know that want to see you succeed. Obviously, I want to see you succeed. To represent the Eagles. We gotta get out the NFC East. Ghost is a loser, dude. He plays the game twelve hours and a day. And NFC East could be hell this year. It's got it could, so far. It's got me. And then they got Ghost coming out of Washington. Well, Ghost is going to tell you that the people he has to play in Washington are really good. Yeah, and yeah, no matter yeah. who Ghost plays, they're yeah. really good. Yep, it doesn't yep. matter. Like, he could play, you know, Joe from down the street. Yeah, like, you know, exactly. this guy, he's not Joe's that bad. Joe, you yep. know, he he got he's tricky. He's tricky yep. to play. That's Ghost's favorite line. Yep. He's tricky to play. And no matter who it is, <laughs> oh, he's tricky to play. So, Ghost will make, you make it sound like he just got killers to play. <laughs> yeah. And, and Ghost was probably still, even though he went about last year, had a lot of success and was one of the best players in the world last year. He still is nervous as a rat. So we'll see what happens. You know, obviously, I wish they had a live event like they did last year. I went to that one, and it was an awesome live event. I don't know why they went ahead and didn't have a live event this year. I mean, it's all. So is there, there's no live event for for the what? Live events are done. Everything else is in California. Oh, okay. Right, Everything. For Washington. You know, so there's only five live events this year. Everything else is going to be in California. Do you know what the date of California is? Is it is it late January? I want to say January twenty eighth, but I feel like that's completely wrong. I feel okay. like it's like early we'll January. We'll go with completely wrong, January twenty eighth. January twenty eighth. We'll definitely go with that. But uh, so we gotta get out of the NFC East. Do you know who's in the Giants? I saw Truzy lose to Vy. That's Giants, not a VY. surprise. Yeah, I think Vy got that one on lock. I don't even know who else is in the Giants because Hollywood left and and wound up losing. So I don't know who could be. SDW in the Giants. lost. Is I S- think uh, maybe lost? yeah. I think maybe a uh, young dude Fard. I'll be watching his stream Far? sometime. Okay, he's yeah. still in the Giants. Okay, yeah. and then the Cowboys. Young obviously, Trini. is gonna be Journey, and I think VTech even made that. And uh, yeah, VTech so did. Yeah, VTech did qualify. So we'll see. So the NFC East. So that you're gonna have to play the Giants first, right? That's I, how it was last year. Yeah, last year I played Giants first. Okay, yeah. so I mean, we'll see. Pay attention to that. Hopefully, you already won your club, so you'll go to California and be able to watch all these games. I don't know what the venue is going to be like, yeah. but you'll definitely have a leg up on the strength that you don't have to go through that. You'll be relaxed the first couple of days in California, be yep. able to watch all these other guys play, and then hopefully, you know, get the leg up on them and be, be able to uh, pop because, I, I mean, I don't want to see the Redskins or the Cowboys or the Giants win yeah. anything else. You know? I wanted to win it real bad last year. I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to win the club series and then be at the Super Bowl while the Eagles won the Super Bowl and then... Maybe yeah. they would have showed a little bit more attention to it, but yeah. So I'm about the attention to it. I mean, I feel like personally that EA has just abandoned the MCS for the most part. Yeah, it, it is the with the like I do I do see some like negative comments like talking about like not knowing when an event was or like lack of promotion, but and I feel like especially you know. for somebody like you, we just talked about how. You know, I was out there with all the content, trying to do all the streaming and all this, but you put all your time and effort into getting good at the game mm-hmm. and being able to pop up on people and them not being prepared for what you want to do. Mm-hmm. And for you to accomplish this is probably the first goal you set out for yourself on the year. You know, I want to win the Eagles Club Series. And for you to accomplish it, I f- accomplish that, I feel like they should have made a bigger deal about it. They yeah. should have made a bigger deal about, you know, about T. Davis winning the first one. About Joe Rice winning the second one, and who else? And uh, Deliverance. Deliverance yeah. And then we watched Jay Wall win the last one. I think you five guys should be, you know, held higher than you are, you know. And I feel like obviously EA is not on their agenda right now. And, and, and regardless, I don't know what's going on in that building. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with all the, the big leagues in EA. I really I can't, couldn't tell you, but obviously it shows us really not day prime concern. And obviously I want to do the best I can do 
to help you guys. I mean, I'm not EA. I'm really not shit, but I mean, it's important for me to and competitive man grows because I love watching that. I love watching you guys play. I love watching anybody play and, and really play at that level and be able to break down defense and learn that, you know, in the middle of the game, you said I got to stop running skimbo plays and run a little more high, <laughs> little quick passes. And I love watching people do that, man. So I appreciate you coming out to the podcast. I know you live probably an hour or so far away, especially that time of night. I mean, I I live probably five miles away, and it takes me like 45, 50 minutes to get here. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming out and supporting uh, the podcast. Me. I want to help you grow. I mean, obviously, I wish there was more attention. So what's the what's the biggest card in my – we got to do a giveaway to get – Figgy some more followers, man. Is Lawrence Taylor the biggest card in Mutt right now? The Harvest Lawrence Taylor or Probably Walter Payton? They want one of the, one of those. What do the kids want? Do they want Walter Payton or do they want Lawrence Taylor? That's a good question. Chat. Who, who do y'all want? Y'all want Lawrence or y'all want uh, Lawrence Taylor or Walter Payton? Or Walter. I feel like that Lawrence Taylor is a dog. Ghost in here. Oh, Ghost wants to say. You know he's a tricky. He's tricky to play against. Bro, I'm I'm already playing mind games with Ghost. Ghost, I seen I seen your mate, your boy wanted to drop you for Clef yesterday, bro. Like, what what's going on, bro? What happened? Ghost got dropped. Ghost, that joke. They're talking about the three v three. Joke was talking about a hey, Clef. When you want to start winning three v threes, come over and play with me and Drini. I was like, damn. So Drini's playing with Joke. When when did this happen? Uh, yeah, appara- apparently. Oh yeah, they had LT LT, and it was a no brainer. LT because he's probably freaking one point five million coins. Yeah. Okay, how much is LT? No, we're going to do that, man. I'm going to make a tweet tonight. Next week, we're going to give out a LT. Make sure y'all follow Figgy. I know his little Twitter joint is underneath there because he is the Eagles Club Series champion. He's going to be representing the Philadelphia Eagles, right the there. best team in the NFL. I mean, it's dark right now, but they will regain their stride before the end of the season. And uh, so, you I wish you the best of luck. I mean, we got two whole months to play. Don't play skimbo. Don't do it. Because he's going to get you thinking that, that three verticals is the move, all right? Yeah. I will tell you, get rid of the in route and the drag. That's not it. And mix in some other plays that you flip from wide side to short side. I'm about, to get, my, I'm about to get my trips tied in on watch. Because I'll tell you this. Ghost isn't a nerd. Ghost is an idiot. But Joke joke is the one that has see the shit I saw, okay, when he flips from wide side yeah. to short side, it's going to every time. Because and Joke will be the one to tell Ghost every time he flips wide side, short side, it's corner strike. Yeah. Every time it's wide side, it's verticals or something. Else. It's not Ghost. Ghost is an idiot. All Ghost know how to do is make a million different mesh posts a million that, different yep, ways. Yep, That's it. Yep. That's all Ghost know how to do. That's Ghost it. defense is send six, three D blues and and user and maybe yeah, man, and maybe yeah, man he, somebody he, up. Ghost don't know what the hell's going on out there on, out there on <laughs> offense or on defense. But, <laughs> So that's that's pretty much how it is. So just that's the only thing, man. I mean, I thought you played really well, and you want to find some defense, like you said, crowned out there, just sitting in practice mode right oh now. Oh yeah, shout out my dude. Crowned in the Twitch chat, you know, they, they already cooking you know, up for me. They find us something. So like like I said, like next week we're gonna talk about the patch, how I feel about it, and we're gonna talk about DC and get ready for that. But you know, <laughs> Ghost getting dragged. That that's what it does, man. <laughs> but for real, I appreciate you coming out here. Appreciate this you week having needed me. Podcast episode seven. Make sure y'all follow. Figure we're gonna give up LT next week. Make sure y'all get that done. I appreciate y'all coming by. YouTube viewership, please hit the like button. Please comment on what the biggest play in that game was, Figgy versus Noonan for the Eagles Club Series Championship. Which play did you think was the biggest? Obviously, Figgy going has getting a, getting a stop and getting some touchdowns there to win the game was probably the biggest for me. And uh appreciate y'all coming by.